Look at that, boys. That is some kind of nice right there. That's a nice walleye right yeah, there. Yeah, that's really a nice one, yeah. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> this week on the G3 Sportsman, we headed up to Minnesota. Up around the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. And even though that Minneapolis may be famous for the timber wolves, there's another animal that roams around in here in these waters that you're going to meet today. And his name is the Grizz. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Hi, my name is Dick Javinsky. The Grizz, they call me, uh, and I live in St. Paul, Minnesota, and uh, Mississippi is where I fish out of. And uh, well, I catch every kind of fish in this, in Minnesota, almost, except lake trout and salmon, but my specialty is catching walleyes. That's what I go after. Our plan of it, we're gonna walleye fish. We're gonna right. try to catch some walleye. We may catch all kinds we'll of get, species. We'll get at least 10 species a day. So. Yeah, all right, so yeah. we're just gonna kind of head out and uh, are we going up or down river? We're going up to start with. We'll be down. Okay. Yep. All right. Hit so it'll be fun. Yeah. Hit and run spots. You'll see a lot of spots today. There you go. Hit and run yep. with the Grizz <laughs> on the Mississippi River up here in uh, Minnesota. See, I go right in the mouth. All right. Show you what happens. People think they're fooling me, you know. It's up to them for catching the fish. So they get lazy, they don't want to go in the mouth, so they go like this. I'll show you what happens. They go through here like this. All right, you're jigging. So your jig is here, your minnow's going around, it's going around the circles like this here. And, yeah. And, well, here the way I hook them, they don't do that. So you go inside the mouth. See, and then you just go right in the mouth, and right, you want to get back in that meat right straight in the center of the forehead as you can, just like that. And that eliminates your minnow from spinning around. Like that? Yep, perfect. Ha, first time. Yeah, let it hit bottom. Okay, yeah. just let it hit bottom. Yep, and then you shut your, well, here I'll show you here if you wanna. There, it's not deep, it's only seven feet. All you do, you, it's just real easy fishing, just lift and drop. See my slack there? Yeah. Just like that, just lift and drop. You want it to touch bottom each time. Oop. You go about four speed to go to the outside. There's a walleye. The other nice walleye. You want me to get the net? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Let's keep fitting, fishing there. You're so used to doing this, you just yeah. second nature to you, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Nice. That's another good walleye, though, Grid. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, were, they were good eating ones there. You know, if you're eating fish, fun to catch. There. I believe that one's just a little bit bigger than the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're all sizes, you know. You'll get them like this, and you'll get, get some great big, great big fish, too, down here, so. Heck yeah. Well, here it is. How about that? <laughs> nice yeah. walleye. All right, we'll put them back. Oh, there he goes. A little sloppy release, but. <laughs> There's a fish. Fish, oh, he had a little more action to him. Oh, another catfish. I got him, I Get got him. him. Get him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah. Now we pulled in the walleye hole, and what do I catch? <laughs> you... you know, I come to, I went to Ohio to uh, walleye fish, and danged if I didn't catch catfish. Then I come to Minnesota to walleye, catch a few walleye, and I'm still catching catfish. <laughs> <laughs> this segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats, Garmin, Fiocchi Ammunition, Abu Garcia, Ugly Stick, and Mossback Fish Racks. There it's coming up on that hump right here. 
There's a fish. Fish? Yeah. There is a fish. He took off running. Yeah. Now what it is, we don't know. No. We never know what comes out of that water, do we? Nope, not down here. Oh, that's a good walleye. <laughs> it's a good walleye, Greg. Yeah, I told you it was your turn. Oh, yeah. There you go. Boy, I mean, just barely got him, too. Yep. Woo -hoo. <laughs> How about that, boys? Very nice right there. There's my first uh, Minnesota walleye. Just got him. We pulled up on a little spot. He's got, Grizz has got a thousand spots over here on the river, so that's what makes it fun. You can just pull up on these and you never know when you're gonna, when you're gonna grab one. And this is, a, this is just a prime example of what you get right here on these walleye. Gotta have the mully. You catch this many different species of, <laughs> These are the do heavy duty mully towels too, man. Yeah. These are big, thick. Mully goes everywhere we go, man. Yeah. I love how it's oh, yeah. it's always there. You wipe your hands and that is our Minnesota walleye rig right there. There you go. We've got this on six pound Berkeley Trilene XT. That's what this line is right here. I've got just a very small swivel. You can barely see it right there, a little bitty swivel. It keeps the twist out of my line when we're drifting. We've got six foot nine, Abu Garcia Veritas Next Generation V-Series rods right here. These are medium light, got a fast tip, good little strong backbone, and then a little matching Revo S Abu Garcia size 10 spinning reel. That's what we've got right there. It's a good combination. Grizz, you've never used these and they're working good, ain't they? Yep. Perfect rod for doing this. I just used it today as my first time and, well, it's working good for me too, so <laughs> I'd buy one. <laughs> there you go. Got one? Yeah, I do. Oop. No Over head shake macro. here. Small maul. Bang! <laughs> what a nice molly. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what a catch! Man! <laughs> that was a fantastic catch. Man, look at that now. I mean, that's a dead gum good smallmouth anywhere you go right there. <laughs> and what a great catch by the Grizz. <laughs> I mean, that. Sort look of rough. Sort of rooked you on your fight. <laughs> you did kind of rook me out of my fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I was just starting to have fun with her. Look at that now. Boy, when you get into a mess with them, that's what I'm talking about right there. Nice small mouth. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Woo! Man. You know, for most of us from anywhere south of Minneapolis or whatever, we're not familiar with walleye, and we would especially not relate walleye to the Mississippi River of all things. Yeah. I mean, really, we wouldn't, but it's full of walleye, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's one of the healthiest fisheries around in Minnesota right now. I mean, as far as, you know, getting big fish and uh, all sizes, but you will, your chances are very great to get a 10 plus, so. Yeah. And, and other species, too, you know, big fish, but walleye is well. Uh, and some saugers that are huge, you know. Yeah. So you gotta, I mean, you're down every time you get a fish on, you don't know what you're gonna pull up. I mean, you, you know, you can guess and stuff, but sometimes you're wrong. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, another good fish. Now what do you got? I don't know what I've got <laughs> now. <laughs> now what do you got? <laughs> well, this is just a honey hole. I mean, this is maybe another smallie. She kind of acts like a smallie. Yeah, it might be a big walleye the way he's thumping around. Could be, could be. I think it is a walleye. Oh, ho, 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 Grizz, 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 Grizz. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Man. See? What a honey hole here, Grizz. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you now, nothing wrong with that fish. No, that's a dandy. And this is out of one hole I caught a crappie, a big smallmouth, 
a gas burgoo. Yeah. <laughs> and now this nice walleye. Yep. How about that? All right, girl. Go back in there. Woo. Oh, she gave me a whipping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, river fish are strong, you know. They sit in that current all day. Yeah, well, the next spot will be mainly walleyes down there. Oh, you'll catch other stuff too, but. Hey. Oh, fish? Yep, fish. Quite like another walleye or is he sw swinging around? I can't tell. Now, if he's swimming, that's probably another walleye, maybe. Yeah. I think it is a wally. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Ah, that's a nice one, too. How about that, man? Golly. I'm here to tell you, man, I'll say this to you, Grizz, like I do a lot of things. If somebody don't like coming and fishing with you, they are a hard person to please. Yeah. Look at that, boys. That is some kind of nice right there. Look at that. <laughs> Simple little rig. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing major. The only thing that's tough is my release. <laughs> Someday I'll learn how to, how to do it. There you go. Fishing with the Grizz right there. Nice Wally. I know all you northerners are going, look how he's holding that wall. I hate that yank, that <laughs> Bama boy coming over here doing that. That's nice, man. That's real nice. I mean, these are good, aren't they, Grizz? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, so let's let her go. She fights me all the way. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by Team Catfish, Tri Lakes Marine. Berkeley, Power Pole, Bug Soother, and by Yamaha. As big a river as this is, even though it's small compared to what we're used to on the Mississippi River, I mean, how do you know, you know, where to fish? I know you're here all the time, but what are you looking for? Well, I like the in the river if you're fishing walleyes, you know, like you can look at the you can look at the shoreline, you know, the rocks and stuff. I like to, you know, fish the rocker areas and. Right. and uh, Places where the you got sort of a shelf and it drops into deeper water right away, you know, real quick. And, right. And uh, you know, a little you got to watch your depth finder. Like right here, now we're coming up on a little. Uh, it's like eight feet of water it comes up on a five foot knoll, and there's usually a walleye laying on, you know, right in front of this thing, you know. And, yeah. and uh, well, and when the water slows down a little more, I I do a lot of wing dam fishing. Fish. Oop! There he hit it. What about it? Yeah, I feel like it might be a walleye. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice walleye. It's what? Walleye. <laughs> All you got to do is holler, net boy. Oh, okay. Whoop. <laughs> Thinks he's part smallmouth. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Nice one, Grizz. Yep. Why them things are strong? Well, they are. Yeah. They're hard to get a hold of. I hadn't mastered it yet, so it kind of tickles me to see them giving you a fit. Yeah, I know down here, them, they're hard to, I mean, they're so strong because they're in that current all the time. Yeah, but you got them big old grizzly paws, oh, too, yeah. so you can grab a hold of them. Nothing wrong with that dude. No. Let me get you untangled. There we here. go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. Pretty in that sun. Yeah. Come on, lift up. There we go. Yeah. Getting to be there, we gotta get that What's fin he got up. In his, oh, that's your finger. Yeah. <laughs> Very well, nice. Man, well, we're catching a mass of walleye. Oh, yeah. Well, right there. Good well, mess. Let her go. I don't think. No. He... Well, but I mean, we look at how long we fish here, and fish come in here. Whoop. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Bubba. See what we got. It's always a surprise in here. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. I think he just now figured out he was hooked. Hooked, yeah. Hadn't seen him yet. Oh, ooh, nice walleye. Oh, man. There, that's a big one. <laughs> See, we only fish here 10 minutes. Like I said, they don't bite man. right away. Good one, Scott. There is. That is a good one. Man, what a nice walleye. That's a good walleye anywhere right there, boys. I mean, and they'll fight you even in the boat. You come down here and fish with 
This guy, oh. he, may, he may look like a biker, but I'm telling you, he's a fisherman. He'll put you on walleye just like this and probably even bigger. He's a heck of a guide and a fun guy to fish with. Man, what a great job. Man, good fish, yeah. isn't it, Grizz? That's a good one, isn't yep, it? Yep, good job. Even for a rookie <laughs> like me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Better let her go. You know, I noticed on your G3 here, Grizz, it's even got the Grizz. This is the Grizz model. Yeah. Of the G3 Outfitter 177. You know, this boat was perfect for what we were doing today. And really, you know, we wasn't doing anything special. It's just some of your honey holes and just kind of common knowledge was how we found our, our biggest majority of walleye today. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, well, the boat, you know, it works out perfect for what you're doing. I mean, presentation and holding a boat on a spot is very important, and the boat handles really well for that. And, and really, your presentation on how we were doing it and, and how you were positioning the boat, you, you run everything from the back of the boat. Right. Yeah. Well, that yeah. worked good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh yeah, that's my office back there. Yeah. Ooh, there's a the hit. Fish? Yeah, that's a fish. Good fish? Walleye. Is it? Yep. Not a monster, but it's a walleye. I can swing around there and get him. Okay. How about this little trick? Boy, How about that, man? Yeah, good job. Teaching me well, brother. Yeah. Boy, did he eat it. <laughs> he nailed it, did he? Yeah. Look at Can't even see the jig. Huh. That one will have to go in. I ain't putting my fingers in there. <laughs> Boy, that wouldn't be very wise. No. There you go. Yeah. He's not, not a monster, a monster but boy, but he's a good. Yeah. That's All another right. good walleye right there. <laughs> yep. I'll put him back for seed. Very good walleye. <laughs> Caught him there, the bank here. Yeah. And where does the Grizz go in the Minneapolis St. Paul area to get his bait, tackle, and even his boats? The good guys over at Frankie's Marine Bait and Tackle. Well, I'm Frankie from Frankie's Live Bait Marine. And we're, uh, we're a G3 dealer up here in Minnesota, the Yamaha dealer up here in Minnesota. We've been selling boats here since uh, 1968. We've been in business since 1958. Um, family run business, grandfather started it back in 1958, little hardware store and bait store. And uh, we've taken it now to the Marine and, uh, and a little bigger bait store. So, and we are a full service store here. You know, we got from, we got from minnows, we got uh, the live bait end of it down real well. Um, we got tackle, any tackle you need for the walleye fishermen, the musky fishermen, the bass fishermen. And then we got the full line of marine. I mean, that's our specialty. We have a, a full line of marine uh, boats, motors, trailers, uh, G3 being one of our main lines, Sun Tracker pontoons. And we're, we're located here in Minnesota, you know, we're 35 miles north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. We call it the North Metro. Um, a lot of lakes in our area. We've got 10,000 lakes in our state, but a lot of lakes right here in our area. And if you're up fishing and you need to bait or you need your boat fixed, man, here's the place you want to come. Closed captioning for the G3 Sportsman is provided by the Stanley Jig Company. We set the standard, you set the hook. It's the perfect boat for you too. Yeah. It's that little uh, 177 guide, G3 yeah. guide special there, isn't it? Yeah. It's just perfect for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice deep V hole. Yeah, it'll handle the waves. Oh, yeah, he's got. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's plenty of room, lots of storage. Look at here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you ain't something, <laughs> never know what you're going to catch <laughs> with the grids. I'm going to tell you what, you talk about. A heck of a fisherman. We've met a great friend of ours now, the Grizz, over here around St. Paul, Minneapolis uh, area. And I'll tell you, this is our, I don't know, eighth or ninth or tenth different species of fish we caught. Come down here, or come up here, wherever you're located, St. Paul area, Mississippi River, and fish with the Grizz. You will have a big time, as did we today. Thank you very much. Good having you, Scott. Oh my gosh, we have had a ball. We've caught some big walleye, smallmouth, crappie. Now this pike right here, what a great way to end the day. And uh, we couldn't have been treated any better. Thank you, sir. You're a, you're a living legend here in the Minnesota area. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>
a man of few words, but that's all we got to say <laughs> for uh, for this episode. Just remember, guys, just keep what you can what you can eat, release the rest, yep. and we'll be out there somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Let him go. The G3 Sportsman has been brought to you by G3 Boats. Quality, performance, and satisfaction. Garmin, the clear scanning sonar images on the water. Fioki Ammunition, what's in your gun? Abu Garcia, for life. Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod. Mossback Fish Racks, no matter how you stack them, we attract them. Team Catfish, number one in catfishing. Tri Lakes Marine, the biggest little G3 Yamaha dealer in the Midwest. Berkeley, catch more fish. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Bug Soother, repel bugs naturally. And by Yamaha, reliability starts here. That gun flies, they keep bothering I me. I know, they've been on my ankles. i tell you what I got to do. Take care of them. There, you spray some of this around my ankles, on the back of your neck. Them flies won't be aggravating us anymore. We're out here for the fish to bite and not for the bugs. Bug Soother will eliminate your bug problems right there. And now, here in Minnesota, the Grizz is gonna know about Bug Soother. It don't go anywhere, we don't go.